this video we're going to add some uh, special effects and post-processing to prepare to, to we do all that work before we film so get the look that we want so i'm going to go to starter content under uh, particle effects Just give me a second here there it is particles now you can download more of these from unreal engine uh, marketplace and there's a lot of free ones so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, paying etc so you just drop these in the scene and again I'll use the click on the alt button and left mouse click and I'll just copy a couple of these and maybe we want them outside of the ground here we'll make sure oops that one didn't actually copy that one did okay I'll just put a couple of these out to make it look like there was a fight scene or something going on here. And let me just have a quick look. So I'm going to be framing it roughly like this for this scene. So I'm going to go with that. You could add some smoke to steam actually. It's put it in front of the character it makes it look a little bit more interesting. And I'll do the same all trick here. So you don't want to work for that one. I don't know why. And we'll just raise this up a little bit more. Okay, so that's uh, good enough for that. So now we want to look at a few important things that we didn't do that normally you would do at the beginning. If you remember, we created a blank template, so there's not a lot of uh, of uh, lighting etc put in before i do that i'm going to just click on all my particle effects i'm going to show you how to do that click shift click and then go up here there's a little button create a folder we'll just call it uh, uh, special effects okay and then i'll just close this so that uh, your world outlier is a little bit clearer so over here on this panel click on lights the first light we definitely want to bring in is a directional light I'm going to drag it, and right away you see it changes uh, the way it looks. So the thing is with this directional light, it doesn't really matter where you place it in the level. Uh, and one of the things it really does is it gets the sun wherever it is. And in our case, we already have a sun in our HDRI map. So we're going to have to align the shadows with that. So if you were using a different uh, technique, you might not have to worry about that. And so your WER keys are important. And the thing that works the most with the sun is uh, the rotation. So when I'm going to rotate, you're going to see the shadow. So you see, I'm going to move this shadow in the same direction as this shadow. Um, you could also like change the time of day. You see how I'm rotating it. You see the shadow moving. Now you want to be cognizant of the other shadow in the back here. Another thing that you can do that's kind of cool is you can change the color. Now you don't want to do that too much. Subtle is probably better. Um, so I'll just leave it at that. I think it's good enough. Give it a little yellow tint. The thing I really like in the directional light are these light profiles that are included. And really that just changes the overall look. So I'll just show you a couple. Sometimes you might be going for something, uh, a certain kind of darker feeling you see a lot darker more light over here or you can go with the 180 look i find looks pretty good too and dark so in other words you still have the sunlight but it just changes the, the overall look of it so i'm going to leave it with that the other thing now we want to probably bring in is click on the visual effects uh, panel and inside of here we have um, Exponential height fog. So maybe you want to bring in a little bit of fog. So again, W E R. So this does matter where you place it, I believe. So for the exponential height fog, again, you can play around. That's the best uh, uh, teacher. You could always look on their wiki. And uh, I've changed the color. You can change the color to 
match a mood that you're trying to go with. So maybe everything's on fire. So you have a, a red. Um, the, the, the height fall off. I don't know if you see it. Um, kind of goes gradually. And the opacity, very opaque, not opaque. <laughs> And there's a lot of neat uh, in scattering textures that are included if you've uh, allowed uh, for the uh, engine content, like I showed you guys. Or, so down here, you'll see all kinds of uh, extra cool things that are kind of click of a button and it does a hot -um -ah hockey look. It doesn't really do anything. Some of them will, you know, maybe you too. In other words, a few things like that to play around with. Another thing you may want to consider bringing in under lights is the skylight. Okay, which what really this does is fills in the shadows. Uh, and okay, so here you go. I kind of left it uh, this way. I'm kind of happy. And uh, before moving on, uh, one of the things you may want to consider as you move objects around something I didn't show. It's kind of very useful. Is this under this uh, viewport options? Um, we're going to turn on cinematic. We're going to use that when we play around with our cameras. And over under layouts, you can create a couple panes. So here's the main uh, look that you're going to be working in. And here's like your top down view. So if you're not sure where something is, you can actually click on, what did we call our uh, archer? There she is. So if I move this over, I should be able to see where she's at. So there she is. Okay. So if I move her there, you'll see it is that actor. Or you just click on it. So it allows you to see things from several angles. Uh, so I already have the perspective view there. Maybe I want a side from the right angle. And I can see where my camera is. And I just use the right mouse button move. It moves all the scenes. So this is to allow you to line up your shots, line up your, your scenes, and we're going to be using this shortly. Um, so if you have any more questions, uh, please let me know. There's a lot of things you can do in set dressing uh, and special effects that I didn't cover, but uh, this is just to get uh, things going. Thanks.